Yes, Carlton? Hello, this is Carlton, your doorman. Is your sister up there? Yeah, just a second. Oh. Yeah, Carlton, what is it? You gotta tell your mother something. She wants to speak to you on the, uh, the intercom, but I can't put her on because no one can use it but me. <laughs> okay, okay, I'll tell her. Okay, okay, I'll put her on. <laughs> Hello, Rhoda. I want to talk to you. Mom, why did you just come up and talk to me? That's what I'm going to do, but it's your place because I don't want Brenda to know about this. <laughs> I just thought of something I should have asked you. What? Can Brenda hear what I'm saying? <laughs> yes, Ma, and it's not exactly terrific being left out all the time. I just want you to know that, Ma. Not terrific. Darling, you think there's not a reason? Let me explain it to you. Okay. It's none of your business. <laughs> All of your life. <laughs> All right, what's wrong? I wanted to talk to you before I went to the doctor. Don't worry, it's not my health. I wish it was. I wish it was something you could cure with a pill or an operation or a funeral, but it's not. Well, then what is it? I'm too old to let you do this to me, Ma. I'm 22 now, and you can't just lock me in my room when you've got a problem to talk over. Brenda, will you button up your shirt? I can almost see your bra. <laughs> I don't think so, Ma. It's down in my drawer. Will you speak to this child? Well, I think you're using a word that doesn't describe me. I mean, what do you mean by the word child? A child is a 22-year-old girl who's not married, lives in Manhattan, and works in a bank. Oh. Ma, Ma you're being ridiculous. Now, you want my help? You're in my house. I mean, I decide who stays. Brenda, do you wish to stay? Yes, I want to stay. That's it, Ma. Brenda stays. Very well. Let me tell my problem to both of you. I think I may be having an affair. <laughs> Look, I'm just a child. I'm getting out of here. No, no. Just, no, Brenda, just wait one minute here. Ma, what does maybe having an affair mean? I mean, we all speak English here. An affair is an affair. And that's what I think I may be having. An affair? Right. With another man? Right. You've spent the night with another man. Bite your tongue. <laughs> I mean that I have been seeing someone else. So I'm beginning to feel close to someone. And there are times when I think that I'm... No, 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 no. I don't want to hear this. <laughs> Shh, now, Brenda, stop. It. Listen, Ma's obviously got a problem. The least you can do is listen to her. Go ahead, Ma. If you have to. <laughs> well, to begin with, I have never even thought of another man. Though I must say, I think that at least one instance in our 36 years of marriage, your father has cheated on me. How can you take this? This is our mother talking here, Pop's wife. Why is nobody upset but me? Now, come on, Ma. How can you be sure that Pop cheated on you? He was in the war, wasn't he? He was overseas for 18 months. How long can a man go without a woman? Especially after knowing me. <laughs> Ma, look, you want advice? I'll give you advice. I'll give you back what you taught me. If you let men have their way with you, You'll end up alone in the gutter in the snow with all the other trash. <laughs> Darling, I have never been so proud of you in all my life. Now shut up. Oh, sure, sure, sure. Shut up, Brenda. Shh, Brenda. Your nice little mother from the Bronx comes down, announces she might be cheating on your nice little father from the Bronx. Brenda. Sure. Brenda, there. stop it. Come on now. When you have problems, you want people to listen to you, right? So just stop jumping to conclusions and calm down. And stop putting her down and help. Thank you, Rhoda. Are you crazy? Are you out of your mind? What are you doing? Anyone can see that she's crazy, even a child. Now, Ma, if I'm going to help you, there's a few things I have to know. Who is the man? The man is Dr. Henry Gerber. Oh, no. Who is he? <laughs> oh, he's the doctor that you went to when you had those chest pains. He's the genius I went to when I had those chest pains. Two months ago. Oh, two months? 
How often do you see him? Once a week. Oh, my God. <laughs> Where? His place. Oh, my God. I mean his office. <laughs> oh, well, his office. It's, it's a, a waiting room full of patients. Yeah, but lately he's begun to give me the last appointment of the day so we can spend more time together. Oh, no. Oh, <laughs> Wait a minute. Why are we calling this thing an affair? He's a nice guy, right? I mean, you could think of him as your friend, Ma. Maybe you could even invite him over the house, you know, to have dinner with you and Pop. Oh, come on. Your father's no dope. He'll see somebody paying attention to what I say, and he'll know something's up. Oh, no. Oh. All right. All right, my dear. You want to be a big girl. You want to grow up. Tell me what to do. Stop seeing him. Cut it off. Dump them. Go home. <laughs> Out of the mouths of babes. <laughs> Often comes the worst advice I've ever heard. <laughs> Rhoda. Ma, you can't keep throwing these questions at us. What's most important here is what do you want? I want to see him. But what I really want is for you to fix it, so that's not what I want anymore. <laughs> well, now how am I supposed to do that? If I haven't taught you anything, haven't I taught you how to lay a guilt trip on somebody? Think of Pop. Oh, good start. Yeah. <laughs> At home, sitting there. Right. Alone, lonely, reading yesterday's newspaper. Right, right. Hungry, no dinner. Oh. Working. Slaving. Right. At his desk. That desk of his on which stands a picture of his loving wife. Nice touch. <laughs> Are you going to repay all his years of faith and devotion by, by... skulking around with another man? Oh, oh it's oh, wonderful. Oh. I feel rotten. <laughs> you girls are inspired. Oh, I'm going down there and break this off right now. Oh, Brenda, I know why she's doing this. Why? I'm married. You're too young. And she just can't let a nice Jewish doctor go to waste. Hi, that's murder out Mrs. there. Mrs. Morgenstern. What? <laughs> Mrs. Morgenstern. What are you talking about? I've been calling you Ida for two months. I know, and I didn't want to be rude and correct you. I gave you two months to straighten out. Now it's Mrs. Morgenstern. Why do you want me to call you Mrs. Morgenstern? Because when someone is married, it is customary to call them Mrs. And when they're married to a Morgenstern, then it's Mrs. Morgenstern. Why, why, why are you doing this? Because I want us to have a perfectly professional relationship. Ida. Mrs. Morgenstern. I'm not going to call you Mrs. Morgenstern. Now what's wrong? You tell me, you're a medical doctor. Tell me what it is we have been doing down here for two months. I don't know. I don't know. I've been wondering about it myself. You have me come in every week and there's nothing wrong with me. A lot of doctors do that. No, but you don't charge me. Oh, you want me to charge you? All right, you've been here nine times. That's $20 a it's visit. It's not that nine you don't charge me. It's why you don't charge me. I think it's because I just like seeing you. That's what I was afraid of. I don't know how it started. When you first came in the office, I thought you were the biggest pain in the neck I ever met. <laughs> but something happened, I don't know. Maybe it's because my social life is pretty much the same day in and day out, and you're so... so different. <laughs> social life? What kind of social life? You don't want to hear. You run around with young girls? What do you mean young? Under 50. I run around with young girls. <laughs> Look, doctor. Uh, we don't seem to know very much about each other. For instance? Well, for instance, I don't even know if you've ever been married. Well, I haven't, but I've lived with women three times. It's the same thing, isn't it? It certainly is not. Why not? Because when you're married to someone, it is not a sin before God. <laughs> you're right, that is different. I don't look, why are you coming up here with all these questions? There's just the two of us here. You must want something. What is it? What do you want? What I want is not to be in a situation like this. I just want to be treated like a regular patient. 
Okay. All right. Mrs. Morgenstern, step on the scale, please. Weight, 93 pounds. Height? <laughs> Approximately 59 inches. 59 wonderful, perfect inches. That's it. I can't handle it. It's not so bad. A lot of people are short. I don't mean that. <laughs> Listen, I'll admit that I probably enjoyed these visits almost as much as you did. But since it doesn't seem quite proper, I don't think I'll be coming to the office anymore. All right, Mrs. Morgenstern. I'm glad you understand, Doctor. Then you'll meet me for cocktails tonight? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Brenda, you in there? Mm, come on in, Ro. Hi. Hi, where's Ma? I don't know. Neither do I. Well, I thought she was here with you. No, she isn't. And Pop called looking for her. I didn't know what to do. I mean, I had to lie for her. What'd you tell him? I told him she was playing tennis. <laughs> you know, he said she doesn't play tennis. Then I said, that's probably what's taking her so long. <laughs> Hello, let's be calm. What's happened? I've done the most incredibly stupid thing. I agreed to have cocktails with him tonight. Oh, my God. I mean, he must have some kind of power over me. I don't know what to do. I've been walking the streets trying to figure out what to do. Ma, isn't that a new dress? Oh, is it? <laughs> yes, I guess it is. This must be my old one in here. Is that a new hairdo? Well, I had to sit somewhere. <laughs> you didn't notice the shoes. Oh, my God. What's the matter? You don't like the shoes? Ma, Pop called and he's worried sick. Now, look, you've got to call him. What are you going to say? Well, I'm not going to lie to him. I can tell you that. That's one thing I won't do. Why not? Because he'll know something's up for sure. I always knew when you girls were lying. Your got, voice has got high and squeaky. It's okay. I'm older. I can handle it. Hello, Martin. <laughs> this is Ida. Yeah, I'm fine. Everything's okay. Oh, Grandmother Morgan Stern. I forgot to call her. I'm sorry. I'll call her right away. What? Tennis? Tennis was okay. <laughs> I got a line. Goodbye. Do you realize how low I have sunk? Your poor father's dear elderly mother waiting up in the home for me to call, and I forgot. She waits by that phone every night for me to call, and I forgot Grandmother Morgenstern, Ida here. Yes, I'm sorry I'm calling so late, dear, but I have, I have a very good reason. Yeah, guess who's here? No, dear, not Czar Nicholas. <laughs> it's Brenda. It's Brenda. She wants to talk to you. Uh, hi, Grandma. Uh, Grandma? Hello? Hello, Grandma? Darling, you're shouting. Take the phone into the bathroom. I have to talk to Rhoda. Please. In English, Grandma. Say it in English. <laughs> that was in English. <laughs> Rhoda, what am I going to do? I have to face it. I have a date tonight. Don't go. The man is sitting there waiting. All right, then go. But then you have to break it off. Oh, that's it? Yes. I trained a daughter for 33 years and I get to break it off? I could have thought of that for myself. That won't help me. Look, Ma, you asked for my advice, right? I give it to you and you won't take it. What more can I do? Come on my date with me. You know, other people have mothers who do cookie recipes with them. I'll go with you while you start an affair with the doctor. Come on. All right, Rhoda. Don't help your mother when she needs you. I can understand that. But just remember one thing. I haven't been able to say no to him yet. God knows what he's going to ask me tonight. <laughs> I'll get my coat. <laughs> Brenda, I'm going out for a while with Ma. See oh. you later. Oh, okay, bye. Yeah, sure, Grandma. Yeah, it was nice talking to you, too. Yeah, we should do this more often. Oh, tomorrow night at 7? <laughs> and every night at 7. No matter where I am or what I'm doing or who I'm with? Well, or else what, Grandma? 
No, I don't want to curse on my house. <laughs> I'll call you. Yeah, I'll call you. Ridiculous. I don't know what I'm doing here. There he is. Isn't he cute? <laughs> well, Ida, he's worried about you. I'm glad you finally got here. Yeah, thank you, doctor. I'd like you to meet... <laughs> Rhoda, come here. I don't want to. Come on, Ma. Okay. <laughs> this is enough. <laughs> like to meet my daughter. Rhoda. Right. How do you do? Oh, I'm fine. We've met before, doctor. I brought my mother to her, her first physical. You're a very close family, aren't you? <laughs> well, uh, you have something to tell the doctor? No, I don't, Ma. Yeah, really. Nothing at all. Yes, uh, uh, please let go. Ma, please, doctor. What are you doing? Uh, no. I have something to say to you, doctor, and I don't have the courage, so Rhoda's going to do it for me. Ma, how can you do this Would to me? Would you just tell the doctor what I asked? Just <laughs> Doctor, the obvious reason I'm here is, you know, I mean, we're all adults here, and uh, I'm not going to kid you. What I really want to say is, we're all adults here. Goodbye, thank you. <laughs> Come back. Ma! Right here! Shh! Get out! Shh! Ma, this is, this is a situation you have to handle yourself. I just asked you for a drink. <laughs> oh, please. Oh, Come Ma. Please. All right, all right, I'll stay. But I'm not sitting at that table with the two of you. If you need me, I'll be right here. All right, calm down. Just a drink and some conversation. Hi. Right. You alone, honey? No. To tell the truth, I'm here with my mother and the doctor. Yeah, they're splitting up and I'm sort of helping out. You're just saying that because I'm fat, aren't you? No. No. Oh, really. yeah? I, I would be well, the last one. Tell you the truth. You're not such a prize yourself. Oh, married is better. Henry, I've been thinking a lot about this, and I realize that the only way we can have this kind of conversation is by using first names. Ida, 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 Ida. Please, please don't take advantage. <laughs> Henry, I want you to know that I really feel very guilty about this relationship. Why? We're not doing anything wrong. Excuse me. I said, I really feel guilty about this relationship. Good. And he said, why? We're not doing anything wrong. Tell him you're a mature person, you know what this is leading to. Oh, what a daughter you are. <laughs> I am a mature person, and I know what this is leading to. Well, I don't. <laughs> Ida, nothing has to happen. Oh. Uh. <laughs> he said, nothing has to happen. Ma, you cannot keep running over here asking me questions. Are you here to help me or aren't you? Can't you see I'm a vulnerable person? Vulnerable people do not pinch. <laughs> Now look, Ma, go over there and tell him you're afraid and that you can't see him anymore. Okay, good. Ida, are you going to keep talking to your daughter about everything I say? Am I going to keep talking to you about everything I say? <laughs> Ma, I'm sorry. It'd be better for you if I go. Oh, no. Really, I'm no, sorry. No, I got Rhoda! Rhoda! Shh! Play! Shh! <laughs> no. I'm going. Henry, I just want you to know that I am not going to see you anymore, and that's it. Isn't it? 
I don't, what can I say? I just don't see anything wrong in two people getting together and talking. Oh, come on, Henry. You know you had more in mind than just talking. Well. Well, this may come as a surprise to you, but I am not a wild woman. There is only one reason that I could go on seeing you, and that is because I knew something you didn't know. I knew that this relationship could never be consummated. <laughs> well, why don't you answer me? Don't you know what consummated means? <laughs> it means when... I know what it means. I'm a doctor. <laughs> I'm an educated man. I know what it means. It means you don't want to mess around with me. <laughs> I just wanted to make sure we were both talking about the same thing. Heidi, you're not being 100% honest. Why? Because you wouldn't be this concerned or upset about meeting me unless you were tempted to have a fuller relationship. Oh. <laughs> what did you just say? <laughs> I notice you're not disagreeing with me. Listen, here, I'm sitting here sweating bullets. I'm not one of your cool, sophisticated ladies. I'm a, I'm a little woman from the Bronx. All right, all right. I don't want you to be uncomfortable. Let's forget about the fuller relationship part. But we can meet and have lunch and talk. I don't think so. I mean, there are other people in my life. Not that 4 to 4.30 every Thursday hasn't been terrific, but I found that I needed more. <laughs> I can understand that, and I couldn't give it to you. I mean, by the time I get that train back and I come down here... I know, I know. Then I have to get back and cook Martin's supper and that five o'clock rush is murder. I know, I know. <laughs> Maybe 40 minutes. <laughs> You're not talking about an extra 10 minutes, are you? No. Well, I guess that's it. Guess it's over. Guess so. Damn. <laughs> It's over. I feel a little happier. Oh, well, sure you do. And tomorrow you'll feel even better. And the next day, better than that. And the next day, better still. And then I'm not sure I can stop this. <laughs> <laughs> I know what you mean, but right now I miss him. Well, that's natural. Every time I think about him, I get a little pain right here. Just to be on the safe side, maybe I should go see a doctor. <laughs> Go to your room. <laughs>